Hey guys, welcome back to a new video in which we are going to build another MVVM architectural design pattern app, which is a camera app powered by Camera X. So let's check the app. This is how it looks like. As you can see here, we have four buttons. Here is my laptop and here is my fingers. So here we, if we click on this one, we'll go to the gallery. And when we click on this one, we can record a video like this. Now, when we click again, we stop recording. With this button, we can take a picture. We, when we click on this one, we can flip the screen, which is something I won't do. Now I'm just going to show you the gallery. So here is the photo and video that we recorded. It's in DSIM camera app, which is the name of our app. Here is the photo and here's the video, of course, with audio. Like this. You can hear the audio. So that's the app. And make sure to stay till the end of this video to learn how to build such a cool app that you can have in your GitHub as a repository. So let's get started. The first thing we need is some libraries, which are Dagger Health and Camera X. Let's go to our lips.versions. Let me just bring this one here. And here there are the versions of Camera X and also Dagger Health. Here we have the Dagger Health plugin. And then here are the libraries for Camera X and then Dagger Health. You can just copy these from the project. I will link below. It's on GitHub. And then, of course, we'll go to our Gradle file here. And we'll find this Dagger Hills plugin. And then in our app Gradle file as well, we'll find the same plugin with Capt that we need for Dagger Hills. And the dependencies, of course, for Camera X and then Dagger Hills. Just copy these and paste them in your project and sync, and you'll be good to go to build the app. So let's start with our data layer. In our data layer, what we are going to do is four things recording a video, taking a picture, and then save that video and picture. So we'll have four functions in our repository. Of course, you can have more than one repository if you want. Here I will have a package called domain.repository and I will just have my interface of repository here. I'm going to name it camera repository. That's an interface. Right now I will have two functions in here. Suspend fun take photo that just takes a controller of type lifecycle camera controller and then we can just duplicate this for the other function that is record video. Of course, the other two functions for saving will be there, but we don't have to make them abstractions because we won't use them anywhere else. Now in my root package, you just close domain. I'll create a new package called data.repository right here. Then I'm going to create my class, which is my camera repository. I need to inject the constructor, of course. And then I will actually name this one implement like this because this is just an implementation of our abstraction. This one will implement now my camera repository. And here we have these functions to override. All I need in my constructor right here, let me just bring this to a new line, is application, private var, application, application. And then let me just create that as well. App, maybe I already have it. So I've already created it actually. So application, health and with app. And then in my manifest, I need to register that app and also the permissions we need, which are for camera and audio recording and the hardware, because of course, camera is a hardware thing. That's all we need. And now we can actually start taking the picture. But first of all, I need a recording, private val recording of type recording. And that is going to be null by default. We use this recording to record a video and we'll need it later. So right here to take a picture. Simply all I need to do is use my controller dot take picture. I need to pass the executor and that I can get it from context compact dot get main executor passing my application. And then I need to pass the callback for taking a picture. So that's going to be object image capture dot on image captures callback. Here I have one function to override that is I have two functions, but I'm only interested, of course, on, on the success one in which I successfully take an image. I get the image, which is of type image proxy, which is exactly the image I just took. Now I want to make sure that my image is well rotated. So I need metrics for that. Val matrix is going to be matrix dot apply. And here I have a typo post rotate my image dot image info dot rotation degrees. Let me just bring this to a new line dot to float because that needs a float. Now I have my rotation degrees in my matrix. Now I just need to create a bitmap from this image. So val image bitmap is going to be bitmap dot create bitmap. I'm going to pass now my image dot to bitmap. I need to pass the X and Y offsets. That's going to be zero for both. And then the image width and image height. 
than the matrix and filter to true like this. Now I have my image. I just need to call the function that saves it. So I'm going to name it save photo, for example, pass in my image bitmap. This will be a suspend function for that I need a coroutine scope, coroutine scope dispatchers dot IO because this is an IO operation at the end. I will launch that and then, then call this one inside it. I will create this function later. Now let's actually try recording a video. This is actually for taking an image. It's, it's as simple as that. For recording a video, it's so simple. And now we'll use this recording that we have right here. So if I'm already recording, then I need to stop recording. If not, then I need to record. So if recording is not no, then that means I am recording. So I need just to stop recording. Recording dot stop, and then set it to null again. Recording is equal to null, and then I can return. Probably it has to be a var. Okay, now I know that I'm recording. Let me just change this one to my recording. And here I just stop recording and return. But let's actually try recording that video. First of all, the name of the video is going to be the current time in millis. So val time in millis is going to be system dot current time in millis. And then a video at the end is a file. So file like this from io java.io pass in my application dot file view and then the name is going to be my my current time in millis which is time in millis video like this so we know it's a video dot mp4 <laughs> not two but four because yeah that's the format i want and now i just want to start recording so my recording is equal to using my controller that i passed here dot start recording i need now to pass my file output options file output options dot builder pass in my file dot build and then the audio config audio config dot create true so i do want audio obviously don't worry about this error it won't cause any issues You're just asking us for permission of course we'll ask for permission later context compat dot get main executor we also need that here pass in my application here I simply get an event and that event tells me whether I successfully recorded or I finished recording all those stuff. In my case, I technically only care when I finish recording. So if my event is video record event dot finalize, then I just finished recording and I need to check if I have any errors event dot has error. Then I did not record the video. I just need to close my recording, not stop, but actually close set it to null again so recording is null else i then did record the video so i just need to save it using again a coroutine scope passing my dispatchers dot io dot launch let's call it save video passing my file simply now we've successfully recorded the video and uh, take the photo we just need to save those because what's the point if we record them and take the photo without saving it let's start with the photo private fun save photo that takes of course a bitmap that we want to save and since that's an io operation we're going to switch to the io dispatcher dispatchers.io and now to save this photo we will use media store but actually writing all that code is too much so i'm just going to paste it and explain it so here it is and i'm going to actually explain the first thing is that we'll use media store and media store only works for android version 29 and above so under 29 this probably won't work for that case you need to use a different method of saving uh, in that case i will leave that to you but in my case i'm going to use media store so of course we get the bitmap we do this in the dispatcher.io we need this content resolver to interact with our story this is what we use to save that in media store and then where are we going to insert it in our image collection we get the volume which is external primer means external storage here I get the app name, which is clear. And just to create the folder that tells these photos and videos are taken by our app. So we put them in a folder in our app name. And here time in millis again, we don't have to have this one like this. So the current time in millis, the image content values is just used to store some metadata in the image, like its name, its path, where it's going to be the SIM and its type GPG date taken is pending here is one. So some metadata, of course, for the image. Here we have the image media store URE. And now we just use our resolver or our content resolver to store that image. Of course, here we tell it that it's in the external storage. And then here is the content values or the metadata of that image. If our URE is not null, then we can start saving it. Of course, first of all, we need to compress. We open an output stream and then we try to compress that image into a GPG format. Let me just bring this 
like this so to, to save space and then simply we store it if everything is clear then we just clear our metadata we see that it's no longer pending so we set that to zero we can also bring this to a new line and then update here to just refresh our gallery if any error happens we delete that URE that's what's going on here to save an image now we need to create a, uh, another function to save the video private font that's probably a suspend font save video that takes a file of type file and this function is going to be almost identical to the first one with some little differences here we need to add to that annotation again because we use media store again our content resolver our video collection so here in external storage the app name the current time in millis we put some metadata in our video as you can see so again in our dcim folder and then app name folder again the type is mp4 the date added date modified date taken all of that is just metadata is pending is one and then again we try inserting that we get url if the insertion is great with our metadata so here we open our output stream and then we try saving our file of course we need a URE so we get that URE from the file and then after the output stream is used we actually make sure that it's closed properly so again we clear that and then we tell it it's no longer pending and then we update our gallery and if any exception happens delete that URE everything now is great we save the video and the photo and we also recorded that video and take it and now we can just start with our presentation package by going right here create a new package called presentation right there i'm going to have a screen let's actually start with the view model first camera view model okay this is going to be a health view model let me just get some space down here and then we need to inject the constructor we extend or we implement a view model from lifecycle and we need our repository but probably i first need to do some dependency injection the i right here all i need is my camera repository module to provide my function or my repository that's going to be an abstract class of course this is a module installed in singleton component class now here i'm going to have an abstract function bind camera repository this will take my implementation camera repository implementation right and then returns my camera repository we we'll annotate this with binds and then singleton okay so now i'm done with dependency injection i provided my repository to make sure that i injected the constructor so everything is great i do have my app and private val camera repository here i will have one state which are whether i'm recording or not so that's the state private val is recording that is going to be a mutable state flow of false at first because obviously i'm not recording now the public version is recording this is going to be my is recording dot as state flow and i will have two functions in this video i'm not going to create that on event class i don't need that i only have two events so i'm just going to have them as functions in here fun on take photo so when i try to take a photo i need of course the controller of type lifecycle camera controller in that case i need a view model scope a dot launch and then i use my camera repository dot take photo passing my controller like that we can copy this for take a video or on record video probably it's a better name here record video and that's it for the view model as simple as that all the magic is going to happen in our screen so camera screen and that's the only screen we will have that's going to be a composable camera screen all right and i just need to call that from my activity let me just delete all of this right here i actually don't want the background color i want all the time black so i'm just going to call directly my camera screen and let's get started with it but actually before i'm able to record a video and take photos i need the permission for video recording and also audio recording for that let me go back to my main activity and ask for the permission right here and i'm going to create a function fun let's say are permissions granted like this this doesn't take anything it just returns a boolean of course whether i do have the permissions or not not bundle but boolean let me create some space down here 
and then obviously I also need the permissions I need so that I'm going to put them in a component object and that's going to be val let's say camera permissions is going to be array of manifest dot permission dot camera and then just applicate this for audio so record audio these are the two permissions I need and now I check if I have them or not so return my camera permissions dot all and then right here I get the permission like this and I need to check for them so context compact dot check self permission passing first my application context and then my permission and then make sure that it's guaranteed is equal to package manager dot permission guaranteed so if this returns true i do have the permissions if it returns false i don't and i will actually ask for the permissions as soon as the user opens the app so right here in my own create function i'm going to check if permissions are not guaranteed like this and then i'm going to ask for them so activity compact dot request permissions passing the activity which is this and then the permissions i want which are camera permissions and then request code can be anything like 100 for example so i would just uh, this is not the best way of asking for permissions but now we're just trying to be simple so i'm just asking for the permissions if i have them then i won't ask for anything if otherwise i will actually ask for them at the launch of my app this can be a private function and now let's go to my screen the first thing i need in my screen is of course the controller that I want to use to record videos and take photos that I also will pass to my repository var controller is going to be remember savable to actually just survive configuration changes that's going to be life psycho camera controller I also need application contacts so for that I can just possibly pass my activity here activity of type activity and then it's passed that right here this so I can use the activity to get my application context dot apply I'm just probably bring this to a new line set enable use cases and then I'm going to go for camera controller dot image capture or camera controller dot video capture so I can either capture an image or a video now I have my controller I just need to create my camera view model instance now val camera view model is going to be health view model of course the type is my camera view model uh, now I just need to take this from the remember save block and then put it in the screen block now I need the state that I get from my view model val is recording is going to be by camera view model dot is recording dot collect a state and probably I think I don't actually update it in my view model so when I need to start recording a video, I need to update that is recording. So right here, my is recording dot update. That is going to be the opposite of it. So is recording dot value. So if I am recording and I try record a video, then this one is already true. So I'm now recording and then I want to stop recording. So I set it to false and then I call my function in the repository that will check also the recording it has that is not null. So it stops recording. And if this was false, I'm not recording, then this will be true that I am recording now. This one will call that function in the recording there is actually false. And also it will be true or probably it won't be null. I'm sorry. And then it starts recording. So that's the logic behind this. Now, right here into create, create my screen. Let's actually see the screen. So here it is. We just have our camera preview. We will actually also change the status bar color to black. And then we have four buttons at the bottom. Let's start with the status bar color by going to UI. Now I actually found a solution to change it without those issues I had previously right here. In my case, I always want it to be black. So color dot black. And then right here, I can bring these. And then is light colors is always false. So uh, the status bar is always dark as you can see so we have light colors for the statues themselves and that's it now let's proceed with the UI obviously everything will be inside a box a box that just fills the max size also that box needs a background that is going to be color dot black inside the box I'm first going to have the camera preview for that I need the life cycle vol life cycle uh, owner is going to be local lifecycle owner dot current and then the preview is going to be inside an underwood view so underwood view i need a factory obviously of course we don't have a direct support for camera x in compose we need to use underwood view for that the factory gives me a context and all i need here is a preview view passing it which is the context dot apply 
this dot controller is going to be my controller so the preview controller and then my controller dot bind to life cycle passing my life cycle i also need a modifier for this let me just put it at the top here modifier modifier dot fill max size okay so just the preview fills the max size and then all i want is a row in which i'm going to put these four buttons my row needs some modifier dot fill max width only i'm going to have some padding from the bottom to push these buttons up let's go for let's say 800.dp import dp and then i want to align this uh, row to the bottom alignment dot bottom center and then the horizontal arrangement is going to be arrangement dot space evenly and then vertical alignment is going to be alignment dot center vertically all right inside this row each icon here is eventually a box inside it an icon so box that definitely needs a modifier and with my modifier i'm going to clip the first icon which is the gallery icon so clip rounded corner shape and i'm going to go for 14.dp and then the size is going to be for the, this one actually they are different size these two are smaller than the take photo and video icons the size is going to be 45.dp dot background of it is going to be material theme dot color scheme dot primary and then dot clickable so when i click i want to perform something of course all i want to do is open in the gallery app like this as you can see i open gallery when i click on that to do that i need an intent intent let's import it and then i need intent dot action view and then to open the default gallery app i need a ure ure dot pars that's going to be let me just paste it this one so content slash slash media internal images media this is how i open the default camera app so in my intent i just write dot also and it's activity dot start activity it because here i get the intent all right now i can open the default gallery app inside the box i will have the icon which is this little gallery icon that's going to be icon i need an image vector and here the image vector is going to be icons dot default dot photo uh probably i need the extended library uh, extended icons library so for that let's just close this emulator and go back to our uh, lips dot versions right here we need to add that library and that is going to be this one which is the extended icons library the version of it is going to be much use icons version this is the version we can just sync and then let's go right here and call that like this so here it is let's just sync again now we have our icons we can close these and open the emulator again so let's wait for a photo hopefully library as you can see now the content description can be for example open gallery let's put that in a string resource if you want to translate the app and then we need some things in here like the tint is going to be material theme dot color scheme dot on primary the modifier to give it a size so modifier dot size that is going to be 26 dot dp we can just copy this one a few more times but in between them i'm going to put one little small spacer and i'm going to go for width or height it doesn't matter at the end it will have just one dp just to add extra space between these as you can see for this one in the on click first of all this one is record video so right here i'm going to write record video add that to strings uh, video cam for example but actually this one depends whether i'm recording or not let's first start with the container this is going to be circular shape it's going to be slightly big like this in the on click i first need to make sure that i have permissions because i don't want to record without permissions so for that i'm going to make this one not private and then to call it right here i'm going to use my activity as main activity dot our permissions guaranteed i'm just doing it this way which is a workaround of course in that case you might find another way to do it like for example not even showing the camera screen unless you have permissions so and then of course uh, you can extend this app as i said and make it as cool as you want so if is recording this is going to be the icon not this one but actually stop else it's going to be icons dot default dot video can all right so this is for the icon let me just copy this one one more time but i don't need to add that spacer here check if i have permission or not so that's what i need to do like that 
if I do have the permission, then I can call my camera view model dot take. This is actually video record video passing my controller. So we can just copy this for the first one or this one is video. This second one is actually photo on take photo like this right here. We'll have one icon all the time. We won't have more than one icon, which is going to be, of course, camera. Let's go for this first one. The rest is going to be the same, but the content description is going to be take photo. All right, the last icon, I definitely need it to look just like this one. But I also need a spacer here. Let's go for width one dot dp. Uh, in the first one, I also had width, which is great. Now for this one, I want to rotate actually my camera. So if I was previewing the rear camera and I want to preview the front camera or the other way around, it's just first of all, here use my camera switch like this as well right here. I'm going to write something like switch camera preview, add this to strings. When we click, how do we switch? We can use the controller to switch controller dot camera selector is going to be if controller dot camera selector is equal to camera selector dot let me just probably close this one so camera selector dot back camera then i want to switch to the front camera so camera selector dot front camera else i'm going to switch to the back camera so camera selector dot default dot back camera all right now i switch one thing is that this icon won't actually be in the center of the container so i need content alignment alignment dot center for all of those let's do the same with this one not right here but here this one and this one and yes that's it we have an error right here so now the error is gone this is the original app let's close it and let's try our app. Okay, here it is. Let's see if we have any crashes or errors to fix. Yes, the app does crash even though it does ask us for permissions. Let's see why it crashes. And let's try fixing it. The reason why it crashes is that I did not annotate my activity with, I always forget to do this under with entry point. Let's try one more time. And uh, the app seems to still crashes. Let me, let me see why. Oh yes, I can see the error. I can't use remember receivable there, so I can just use remember like this. And then let's try one more time, hopefully. All right, it's now working. Can we open the gallery? We can. Of course, we don't have any camera or something to switch to. So the app definitely would crash, but as you can see, our camera is not supported. So I'm going to try now my real device to see if everything is fine. So here is my Pixel 7 and let me just run the app on it. Let's give it the permissions and yes, let's try recording something. As you can see, it's recording. Put a little thumb, stop recording. Let me actually take a picture. Great. And I promise when you click on this one, it will rotate, but I won't do it. And when you click on this one, it will open the gallery and I also won't do it. So now let's just check our gallery if everything is there. Let's actually switch to dark theme or light theme because now I'm in dark theme. And there it says how it looks like. So here is my folder, which is camera X app, which is the name I gave to the app. If we check our strings, we'll find that it's called camera X. Here's the photo and here is the video. The audio is recorded and everything is great. And this is it in this video in which we built a hardware based app, which is a camera app. If you think what I'm doing is helpful, support me by subscribing, leaving a like and sharing this with your friends. You can find the link to this code in the description. Leave a comment if you have any question and see you in the next video. Bye.